Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Rosemary's Final Prophecy Watch. Today there was a, a, a terrorist attack in Israel, in Tel Aviv. This attack did not entail any use of explosive devices, but rather it, they utilized uh, automatic weapons. There were two gunmen, and the two gunmen uh, went into a mall, of a popular mall, that, that was crowded, and they two gunmen, and they opened up with with uh, fire on uh, the crowd with automatic weapons, and later on they were found to have knives in them, but they used the automatic weapons. And as of right now, four people, at least four people, are dead, and there were several others. Some said nine, some said seven, uh, that were some sources that were wounded of the people that were shot by the two gunmen. Now, the two gunmen were said to be uh, from Hebron, and they were said to have been dressed as Hasidic Jews with, with white shirts and, and black pants and that, that type of attire, and they were actually said to be Palestinians who were part of a certain terrorist organization who were trying to uh, infiltrate and, and carry this out. So one of them was wounded by police and the other one earlier, earlier reports said that they were, they were both shot. Then they changed it and said that one was wounded. They didn't say anything about the other one. The one that was wounded was in captivity. This is coming from Israel and from Tel Aviv. So uh, the story is changing a little because it's dynamic. And some of these sources are Fox News and Channel 10 in, in Israel and uh, the some of some of the other uh, information is from Reuters. There was uh, uh, another source of information that we got this information from the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews. It's like a prayer fellowship. So we've gotten some of this information from that source because we subscribe to that particular prayer group. So. Uh, that's what's going on up to now. Some people are saying that this is happening because there's a lot of tension on the Temple Mount, uh, which is sacred and holy to both the um, Muslims and the Jews, and that this uh, Temple Mount is at the moment uh, access to the Temple Mount by you know allowing Jews to access the Temple Mount is is a mount is a is highly uh, contested. It's a very difficult topic, and people are. Uh, having difficulty about that. And, and this all gets into the possible building of the third temple, and if we have a building of the third temple there, or in an in area adjacent to where, where the Dome of the Rock is, because uh, I think the Dome of the Rock is in a, uh, an, another courtyard, so that they could build the temple, the third temple next to it. But anyway, that would really seal the fact that we're in the the end times, the end of days. You, you notice it doesn't say end of the world. It says end of days. End of, so, you know, end days. So some of that could be the end of our being dazed and confused, our end of being in, in a state of hypnosis. Another thing could be that we're at the end of a certain way that time is counted. You know, so there, there's, there's, one has to be careful of what one says when one says that something about the end of the world because it doesn't really say that. But anyway, we're getting uh, closer into some of these end times situations. Regarding some interesting facts about the date today, it's, it's that this, the day that this happened on Wednesday, it's June 8th of 2016. And June 8th of 2016, if you add up all the numbers, adds up to the number 23. And a lot of people uh, feel that the number 23 has significance, certain mathematical significance, uh, certain significance in numerology, that kind of, of characterization of that number. So it is interesting that this happened on a day that does add up to number 23. Another thing that is interesting is that uh, we right now happen to be 
in the, the celebration of Ramadan. And Ramadan, not that that's directly connected, but there might be uh, connections that are, for want of a better word, subliminal, where, where that's actually what's, what's going on. But anyway, Ramadan lasts from uh, June this year, in 2016, it lasts from June uh, 6th to July 5th. So, and it started the evening of the 5th of June. So it, it uh, is a time of fasting and, and prayer and dedication for the Muslim religion. So uh, the, the people who were the gunmen, uh, the two who were the gunmen, were said to be from a village near, uh, Palestinians from a village near Hebron, and, were said, and that, that that's an area on the West Bank that is apparently uh, Israeli-occupied West Bank. So there's a lot of political and, and religious and cultural tension, although it's been said that the people are all actually genetically related, that, that all the people in that area that are fighting the most are actually genetically related and have the same genetics, uh, but that the, the, uh, you know, the religion or the politics is very different. It might even be a socioeconomic situation where the economics are very different between, and it isn't always even just about uh, a separation of the Jewish, Christian, and Muslim faith. It's often, uh, really what it's often is, is orthodox people from those three Abrahamic faiths of, of Christian and Jewish and Muslim that are orthodox, that are all in agreement with each other actually, versus people that are reform in those religions and who are not keeping the more orthodox laws that are and the the reform of the Christian and Muslims and Jews that all tend to bind together in a more liberal manner and then the others in a more orthodox manner tend to bind together in a more conservative political religious economic social economic view and this is this is probably true for many cultures religions and political systems so this is beyond just some national or, or so you know we we tend to characterize things in a simplistic way and we don't really look at the intricacies of it which are obviously very important okay thank you and uh, thank you for watching and for joining us join us again next time uh, this is final prophecy watch I'm Pastor Rosemary and you stay frosty